Hey, what's up, guys? So in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on hate speech and cancel culture. Okay, so these are two relatively new terms. Um, they didn't exist 10 years ago. Okay, so hate speech in itself is basically one person's opinion, feelings, vocalized, whereas it hurts the feelings of another. And that's always been in existence. That's always been reality. That's always been life. That's the way shit is. People are entitled to feel however they want, including hating other people. You're allowed to hate somebody. You could, for whatever reason, I don't like the way this motherfucker looks. I can hate him. I don't like the way these people act. I can hate him. That's part of being a free person. So to try to legislate that and create laws against that is foolish and nonsensical. We don't need it. There are already ways that hate speech has been handled in the past, and it's always worked. It's very simple. People who act like that, people who vocalize hateful things that are disrespectful and hurtful to others, eventually say it to the wrong person, and they get fucking hurt. They get handled. That's it. And they get taught a fucking lesson. That's the end of it. That's the way it should be. That's the way it has been in the past, always. This whole thing about creating laws where people get could get put in jail or have to pay fines or any punishment from the government for something they say or for hurting another person's feelings is fucking nonsense, all right? Too much attention is being put on people's feelings. Nobody gives a fuck how you feel, okay? You worry about yourself you take care of yourself and your loved ones and leave everything else to other people. That's the way life is. Become your best person, be that person, and that's it. And if you happen to be a person who's hateful and who's disrespectful, who's ignorant, or just a piece of shit in, any, in general, you'll get dealt with. You'll come across the wrong motherfucker. You'll say the wrong thing and you'll get hurt and put in your place and you will learn your lesson or you're not. Eventually somebody will kill you. Fine. That's life. So I don't agree with any kind of discussion even on hate speech. It's foolishness and it's a waste of fucking time. And all it's doing is making people soft when you talk about protecting their feelings. Okay, that's not reality. The next aspect is like 10 times worse than hate speech discussion. And that is the whole cancel culture thing where people are punished in such bad ways, oftentimes people are making their livelihood off of being on the internet and having a presence on social media platforms, and they get completely wiped out from, because of this cancel culture concept, whereas somebody could go back 10 years even, find something any individual said, and then bring it to light now, and as a result, they could get punished and lose their livelihood and be punished forever as a result. Their lives can be fucked up and destroyed because of that. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'll use myself as an example. So many of my videos were deleted and, can't, and banned. I've been given strikes, flags, warnings, all kinds of bullshit from social media platforms because of my content. When, if you actually look into those things, every fucking thing I said was correct. So to you people who banned me and flagged me, fuck you. Go back and look. I hope your feelings are hurt when I say that to you now, because they should be. You should be apologizing for, for being the way you were. And for all the people who support cancel culture, you need to fucking check yourselves and realize how fucked up it is. Because what one person may tell you is correct now, today, may turn out to be incorrect in the future. The perfect example is going back a couple years, the videos I made about this whole pandemic shit. Go back. Some of them still are there somehow and see for yourselves the things that I said and what reality is today. But at that time, I was a conspiracy theorist. I was guilty of hate speech, guilty of misinformation, guilty of all kinds of shit. And I could have been canceled. Luckily, I don't give a fuck. I don't make money from this. So it wouldn't have changed shit for me, really. Except, unfortunately, we wouldn't have been able to interact as we do. So that would have been bad for me. But it may still happen. 
You know, I'm, I'm not, I, I've always been expecting of that because I see how soft people are getting. It's getting worse and worse every year. So to cancel people for what they say is crazy. People's actions, if they actually did something that's criminal and against the law, there are laws in place already to take care of that. But groups of people petitioning to ban people, large business entities banning people, not allowing them on their platforms is crazy. What the fuck is the point of free speech if we can't speak freely? The whole point of it is that. That you could say whatever you want without consequence. Of course there are exceptions. You don't threaten people's lives and you don't do things that are damaging to others directly. Like give public uh, personal information about them. Fine. Those are logical. Those are reasonable. But cancel culture in itself. The fact that there exists a threat that I can be removed and erased from the entire internet because of some opinion I have that others don't agree with is fucking garbage. And all it does is solidify my feelings about how bitch ass pussy motherfucker this whole world has become. And of course, I don't mean every single one person out there. There are always solid people out there. I'm just wondering where the fuck are they? Because I see so few. And I hope that the people who agree with me, because I know there are so many, start being more vocal about it because it's bullshit. We need to stop worrying about people's feelings and start worrying about reality. Teach people the things that they need to know in life, that they should know in life. Teach them the real truths, the things that will help them excel in life, not the things that will make them require protection because they can't survive in the real world. That's in essence what's happening with hate speech and with cancel culture. You're creating a whole generation of people who cannot survive without the protection of government, whose feelings are so fucking soft and weak that they can't be out in public even without being, you know, hurt to the point that they're, they're crying and going home, writing letters to companies, creating groups to ban people, petitions. Come on, toughen up. Somebody doesn't like what you, if you don't like what somebody has said, then make yourself known. Explain why they're wrong. Have conversation. Have debate. That's free speech. This cancel culture thing is garbage. And I hope, I know most of you guys, my supporters, my subscribers, the people who view my channel, I'm not a huge channel at all, very small, but I know from interacting with you that the majority, if not all of you, are solid and are going to probably agree with me on this. But if you don't, and if you think I'm wrong, please let me know. Please let me know your thoughts anyway. I always appreciate it, and I try to read all the comments. And I appreciate all your support, as always. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.